Hello and welcome to the lecture. So in the previous lecture we defined the you know rendering part of this button and that has no action and just printing an error now. So we will continue with the actions part now and as I said earlier it will be part of the config object again. So we are gonna print the one more thing that is init action and this won't return anything it's a function actually so if we print init action that holds the function of all the actions right so it basically returns undefined now and it's a function and we have to redefine it so basically we are gonna start with config.init actions that will be a function which basically has the callback kind of thing so you are gonna find the function and that will have another parameter let's say it's an action because we are gonna define action so i'm gonna put console.log of action and we'll see that and let me comment this with this and we will save it and we'll refresh and see in the console and yeah so we are gonna get some callback from that that's the action so here we have all the list of actions that can be done with respect to each button in the interactive grid so basically we are gonna know about the add here so we, if you want to add we have to use the add if you want to disable we can use the disable if you want to enable re-enable you can and if you want to remove completely from the dom you can remove it and also if you want to invoke other function action you can invoke as well so that's about that and if you want to see the list of functions i mean the actions also you can do it and look up everything is a function here inside this action and yeah function of objects maybe so we are gonna use this add as a function that's right so we are gonna add our function i mean the add so we are gonna put action dot add we will put actions because we will be adding a lot of actions right so we'll put actions and this will be passed here and that you know and we are gonna put the parameters so what it supports so we are gonna add the name so it has some more properties for the add and that's inside the function so we can't get that objects so it has two things the main things is the first one the name that's very important so whatever you are trying to push it in this you know in the rendering part you have to use that as the name in this init actions function so which has the add so you have to map that so this will you know map it and especially now we are not mapping we are gonna querying actually we are querying with a name which has the edit in form and we are gonna you know define the action so we have one more thing that is the action so i'm just putting the action there so this is also a function so whatever we define that whenever this button gets pressed this function will be executed so let me add some simple logic for you to understand so let's put an alert message like some name you have clicked something so we are gonna print this thing with whenever we press the action edit in form so which is rendered here we are gonna define that so that's about like declaring in the top that renders and you have to define that in the bottom which has to be mapped with the name and definition is given in the action object so that's about that so let's save it so we are clear now and i want to tell you one thing basically if you messed up with the javascript logic because there is no compilation while you're adding and this will mess up the complete interactive grid with printing some console errors and the entire region will be you know 
will be blank and you are getting a console error so it's like application gonna be you know having a lot of bugs there you have to be very careful in this javascript initialization so now we are gonna see the action now so we have defined that right so let's click this button and we are getting that so this is about that whenever we press the open model dialog we are gonna get that uh, thing so whatever is selected here and also basically it's about that right so we have to add uh, another function like you know with respect to edit in form for now we'll pass an hard coded uh, record id maybe one that will open every time and so we are gonna use this custom event where we have used it from the apex.event.trigger over this one so that will be on this you know so this basically opens the model dialog whenever i'm trying to edit this so with respect to that particular selected row so we wanna do that remove this and we wanna use it as a you know on the button so we will cut this and we'll remove this event because that might be annoying every time double clicking it okay so we'll remove this event and we will define that so let's use this uh, you know it will be very fast to navigate there so we'll use this and remove and yeah so we are gonna pass the this dot data dot record id actually so basically this has that uh, thing right so we are gonna trigger that custom event so if you are referring the custom event here so this has the this dot data dot key dot record id so this is the custom event so that would be our own side right we are not gonna depend on this key dot record id so we will just put you know this dot data for now and that would uh, print me and get the value as it is right so if i go to this i will for now hard code this key key to one so basically i should pass the key actually so if i go to here this dot data dot key so that's what we want so key will be one as we are passing as you are aware of the previous how dynamic custom events are done so we are going to pass this one every time and we will change it later on so how we want how based on the selected row so if you are selecting this 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 based on that it will open now this is annoying i know so if you refresh it will be gone so I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna refresh this now. We can see with the edit in form action. Okay, so it's it's printing and we are not getting any response now. Maybe you're missing something in the custom event. Where is that? This one. This dot data dot key. So that is the one it's not printing it's not redirecting we have a mistake here okay so here we have some yes and i forgot to remove this okay so we will maybe if we pass anything we will try to optimize in this way and we have to remove this bracket okay so this is fine now and we will good to go and if i refresh and if I click edit in form and we are getting the model dialog so this opens every time with the first online because we are hard coding it and we'll make it more meaningful way with the selection change and that also can be done and we will do that later on so this is about the actions how we want to you know customize our own and perform that actions and still we have a lot of actions on the interactive grid and we'll see more about that in the next lecture.